join the team. Hey team, let's get this out of the way. Okay, so this is an intro video that I'm going to use for quite a few of the next few videos that we do. As you can see here, we have got a ton of stuff to go through from WizKids, lots of different products and lots of different types of things that they make, some of which are pretty new and a couple I think are not necessarily released yet. So this is going to be a fun series that we're going to do. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter so you can see all of these. And again, I'll use the same sort of intro to every one of these videos. That way it doesn't really matter where you come into the series and what you're watching. You'll be able to see there's lots of other stuff that's going to be in this series that you might want to check out. Whether it's Pathfinder or D&D, we do have the brand new Transformers as well as the brand new My Little Pony figures, which are pretty cool as well. So we're going to be going through all of this. With that, on with the reviews! Hey team, this is the McGuire Review, and we are going to be taking a look at the newish set from WizKids. This is a Pathfinder set. We have looked at Pathfinder in the past on the channel, but this is another Pathfinder set. It's the Pathfinder Battles Legendary Adventures. Now, these are pre-painted blind box sets where you know you open them up you're not really sure what you're going to get inside you do know that you're going to get four collectible figures and that's going to be three smaller and one large or in this set they actually have um what they consider huge figures as well now there are a few that i am going to be looking for in this set this set does include the blue dragon that is the priciest model i believe that comes in this set there's also the Boar Demon, which is right on the side of this box. That is another pretty pricey model, and that would be awesome if we got that one as well. But this is a great set that I do recommend buying as a brick. And the reason is because you are going to get a lot of models that carry a good resale price if you want to resell them individually. Um, they do, And these models do hold their value very well. And that's one thing about these that a lot of people don't understand when you, when you collect these little figures, whether it's Pathfinder or D&D made by WizKids, they really do hold their value um, generally in the market. And, and the older these sets get, the more those figures are worth because obviously they only make them for so long. So that's what I think is so cool about these particular figures. And every one that I've seen that we've done so far, these sets continue to get better and better as they come out. Now, little disclaimer... Before we get started, is these are mass manufactured figures, okay? So for around the most of, I don't know the exact price, but most of these box sets like this are around the $12, $13 price. Sometimes you can get them a little cheaper, sometimes they're a little bit more expensive. But for that price, you're getting four figures, usually one large figure and three smaller ones. They're sculpted, they're painted pretty well, and they usually even have special effects that are on them, dynamic poses. So you're really getting a lot for the price point. It's not something where you're going to expect this super, super high-end quality where every paint job is perfect, okay? So I'll just say that before we get started. I feel like WizKids has done a phenomenal job with these, um, and I, I'm just excited on every one of these we do, okay? All right, so here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go through each one of the boxes. I'm going to go as fast as I can. Bear is going to hit us with the miniature cam. Once we start to get quite a few of these miniatures out, we will go through with the miniature cam and we'll hit every single one of them. I will start to do that once I get down to probably the last second to last box. We'll start hitting it with the miniature cam and getting all of that. Okay, here we go into the first one. Now I'm going to keep one of these boxes in decent condition. Let's get the cleave. The cleave is up. Come on, cleave. Okay, here we go. Got the cleave out. We're going to use the cleave to open this first box just because I want to keep one box in decent condition. I like to do that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is from this box, we are going to rip them open childish style. All right, which way is the cleave? The cleave goes in this way. All right, Bear, if you will hold the cleave, please. Thank you. Okay, here we go. We're going in. <clears throat> it's time. It's time, team. Blue Dragon, can we get it on the first box? I don't think so. If you've watched these unboxings in the past, it's usually the last box we get, like, the most epic drop. It's happened a number of times in the unboxing videos. It's really weird how it happens. Okay, here we go. First one. Boom. It's open. Okay, not a Blue Dragon. It's not a Blue Dragon. All right. It is, however, something cool. Let's get this out. This is one of our larger feet. It's not a huge... 
Okay, it is some form of like a pterodactyl looking thing. Uh, Petrodon, Petronodon, Petronodon, Petronodon is what it's called. 25 of 44, Petronodon. This is pretty cool. I will give a quick overview of each one of these, just the highlights. It does have some translucent um, skin, the way they've done the skin, which it looks phenomenal in the light. It almost really looks like you're looking through a form of a light wing. That is done really well. And I am very impressed on the paint job, how these are getting tighter. The eyes look spectacular. And I love the veining that they've done in the sculpting on this sculpt. Excellent first sculpt out of the box. Okay. We have here the uh, LA Armored Elf Soldier 7 of 44. Okay. This looks pretty cool. It's kind of your standard uh, elf soldier love the way they put that dynamic wind blown on that cloak and it really goes out quite further than the model base so that's really interesting i don't know that i've seen it come so far out any of the models they've done so far that looks really good what do we got here we got the bugbear mauler excellent love it when i get a good bugbear and this guy looks phenomenal this is a really cool bugbear because he's a very thin sculpted bugbear which you usually see bugbears being a little bit more bulky this one looks really cool, and I love the shield they went with. Now, there is a little bit of bending there, I believe, in that club, but I can fix that really easily with some hot water. All you do is dip it in hot water, put it right where you want it. You can also hit it with a hair dryer, but that can kind of melt them sometimes. Hit it with some hot water, put it right where you want it. Boom, dab it in cold water, done. it will be perfect for the rest of its life. Okay, next one, we've got the Elf Ranger. Awesome, and this is 24B of 44. There's two sculpts for the Elf Ranger um this looks pretty cool so hopefully i get both of the elf rangers and that i love the ranger sculpts that guy looks phenomenal he's holding that bow at the ready he's got a side quiver on that is excellent okay so there's our first set out of the first box next box again the promise we will childishly rip these open and get right in okay this looks like a huge model it's not the blue dragon but it's big oh yes oh this is one that i wanted too it's the dragon turtle how sick is that are you kidding me oh i didn't know i had a base on it like that either look at the base that's on there it's like this it's not it's not blue it's actually a really deep purple it looks like it's almost coming up out of a sea of magic and it is a turtle figure but it's it's like a dragon slash turtle and it's even got that translucent material sort of spilled up into the back of the model this is phenomenal whiz kids this is so so awesome you know, I could stop right here and be happy because this is this is the one, this is really the one model that I wanted. I know I stated the Blue Dragon. I want that because it's a $40 model and it would be awesome. I love the dragon figures, but the Dragon Turtle, 31 of 44. Put him right in the center. Absolutely amazing. That is so, so, well, I don't know. It might not be a him. That is so cool. Okay, next one. Oh, that is awesome. All right, the, the White 23 of 44. Okay, this is looks kind of this is a very cool sculpt, sort of a Skeletor looking type sculpt. He's pretty cool. Put him up here. All right, ne okay, we got one of the smaller ones. I love these. Um, this is a halfling, halfling slinger, eight of forty-four. This is actually pretty cool. I, I like this little model. It's a halfling. On one hand, it looks like he's holding sort of a dagger type thing, and on the other hand, he's got some some swords, sort of um legolas kind of swords there in, in the back and then he's holding a what looks like a, a rock on kind of a sling that he can throw he's really cool i like that put him right up there okay and then the next one is another a gnome rogue yes this is one that i wanted to 12 of 44 we are doing so good so far i'm nailing all the ones i really wanted to get i love this gnome rogue how cool is this and the reason why i like this sculpt is because it doesn't really traditionally look like a rogue it has very bright colors there's a lot of like staffs and like sticks and pikes but it's a rogue it, it if you looked at this you would think it was a gnome mage or maybe even a gnome like forest druid it's not it's a rogue it's a very very unique sculpted style rogue i love that rogue figure all right Oh, doing good. We're doing good. We always do so good with these bricks. And that's the way to do it, team. You got to get the bricks. Yeah, I think it's just the way the manufacturing process works. You got to get the bricks if you really want the low chance of dupes and a lot of good models. Now, we're going to count the dupes. We're going to see, but you can watch all the videos. I have never had a large proportion of dupes. All right, next one. Come on, blue dragon, blue dragon. Not a blue dragon, but this is a sweet one, too. All right. 
this looks super cool. I cannot remember the name of this one. Cloud Giant. 32A of 44, which means we got two different sculpts of the Cloud Giant. I think there's a male version of this. A um, little bit of bendage on that on that pike that she's holding, but that's pretty. it's pretty thin. So I'm going to have to fix that up. I love the fact that they did the hair and that translucent sort of cloud-like uh, color. They got the blue skin with sort of the old kind of... Um, you know, Greek type style clothing. This looks fun. This is a phenomenal sculpt. And look at the size on that too. That is awesome. Okay, what are our three smaller models? We got, um, yes, another one of the gnomes. Gnome Soldier 3544. I'll take these gnomes and these halflings all day long. This guy looks super cool as well. This is a gnome soldier. Now this gnome does have, I believe, the same um staff it's a very similar staff it is different no it's different i thought they i thought they got a little bit um i don't want to say cheap but i th i felt like they kind of reused a, a weapon there on a different completely different type of class and sculpt they did not it does look similar but it is completely different in pretty much every way it's just basically a stick that's attached to the back but there's different things hanging off of it there's different wraps on it and it does have a different shape as well so very nicely done, and I love the consistency that we get there with those different sculpts looking somewhat similar. Oh, got ourselves a goblin. This is a goblin uh, horse chomper, 40, 14 of 44. Looks pretty awesome, holding a bit. I love this goblin. And a phenomenal paint job on the head sculpt and head sculpting on this particular goblin. Goblin, Probably better than anything that I've seen so far from these series. This head sculpt is amazing. Um, really well done. And the paint is done well as well, uh, really well too. And there's like kind of a wash that's over that green. The green is not too bright. I, I think, I think what really nails this one is the is the quality of the, and the color of the green. That large weapon is pretty cool too. Okay, so we're gonna put him up right there, and then we'll get into our final sculpt here. Not a dupe, not a dupe, and it is another hobgoblin soldier. Sweet. I don't have very many hobgoblins. And this is an awesome sculpt. Look at that red shield. I love the red on that. That looks so good. And he's holding the pike with the shield, and he's got a sword in hand. Oh, this looks so good. And the paint job, this one This one sports kind of one of those metallic type paint jobs. The, the paint job looks great on that. All right, getting into um, our uh, fourth box. And is not the blue dragon. Come on, blue dragon. Don't let me down. All right, it's going to be the last one. I know it, I can feel it. It's going to be the last one, Blue Dragon. Okay, let's get... This guy is... Um, this guy carries some price as well. This is the Ashen Man. Uh, Ashan. Ash, Ashen. Ash, Ashen. The Ashen Man, I think is that what it's called. 42 of 44. And this is just a great sculpt. I mean, it, it, take, it makes use of those translucent effects in multiple areas on his cloak, in his hand, on the ground. There's even some translucent effect that's in his staff here that he holds. This this sculpt looks outstanding. I mean, that just looks amazing. And again, these are so reusable. You, I mean, obviously they're designed for the legendary adventures, for the Pathfinder stuff. You don't have to use it for that if you don't want to. I mean, you can use these sculpts or anything you want. They're all completely reusable. And they are amazing. Looks like we have still no dupes. This is awesome, and we're four boxes in. This is a orc rampager, fifteen of forty-four. That's a pretty awesome looking orc. Just sort of running. It almost looks like it's kind of like the laughing hand or something. I mean, it's like a giant, you know, beast with like a blade in either hand, sort of running. It does have some arrow? Actually, those aren't arrows. I think those are actual full-size pikes that are stored in what looks like a quiver on the back. That's that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll put him right there. All right, we've got our next one. And this one is an orc brawler. Now, that's interesting. Two orcs in one pack. This looks like another orc. Good Lord, I got all these orcs in one pack. That is so cool. What a great... What a great pool on that one. So this is an Orc Brawler, 9 of 44. So another Orc Sculpt. Looks super sick. And then yet another Orc, which is an Orc Charger. And this one's called an Orc Rampager. Because they do look similar as far as their 
um, as far as their like posing, but they are completely different. They're holding totally different weapons. I will say it's the same as far as the little pikes and the skull kind of hanging off the back, but the outfit is different, the color is different, and the weapons that they're holding are completely different. So that's pretty awesome as well. All three orcs in that one pack. What a great pull. And with this guy, which I think this guy carries, I think he goes for somewhere in the teens. I could be wrong, but he carries a good price. All right, we're getting low here, so I'm going to stop peeking. Blue dragon. No, it's not the blue dragon. It's not the blue dragon. All right, what is this guy? Oh, this looks like the monkey man. All right, the Yeti. Yes, we got the Yeti. So cool. I don't have any Yetis. 27 of 44. The Yeti. The mighty Yeti. We got him. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here in our three smaller sculpts. Looks like another orc. This is the orc battler. Four of 44. So now... This is pretty sweet because we are getting the full set of orcs. I'd have to look to see how many there are, but we are loading up on the orcs. This is awesome. And no dupes. Uh, Bugbear, Scholar. Now, this is a different Bugbear than what we had before. What we had before is a little bit thinner. Bugbear is a little bit of a bulkier Bugbear where you generally see Bugbears looking They're a little bit bulkier. Let's look at the height comparison to those two. They do look about the same height, but you can see they're very different in the consistency of how they look. This guy's pretty thin. This guy's a lot beefier and bulkier, which you generally see bugbears look. So we'll put those guys right up there. But again, important part, we got two different bugbears. Yes, this one is sick. This is the Wraith 21 of 44, and this is probably one of the best Wraith models I've ever seen out of WizKids. Look at how they've made use of that translucent plastic, and then on top of it, they drape the red over, almost like a ghostly... It's almost like a, a, a hybrid between a ghost and a physical form. It reminds me of, you know, in, uh, in, in uh, the last... Um, in Endgame. Well, you see him in, the, in both of the last movies. But it reminds me of Red Skull and sort of his look at that end uh, from a certain perspective. I mean, he, he's got a nice deep red cloak and it's kind of ghostly. It just... Wow, does that look so... So awesome. This is probably the best race sculpt I've seen in any set. That is sick. Nice job on that one. Okay. I really want the Halfling Wizard, and I really want the Kobol, and I really want either the Chimera or the Blue Dragon. So, I mean, I've, I, I can't complain. I've got some really, really awesome sculpts out of this. I mean, the Dragon Turtle, I'm set. The other ones are icing on the cake. Come on, baby. Okay. We got, we got the other version of the Cloud Giants. Um, or the Storm Giants, sorry. This is the other version of the... Is it? Is this the other... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is the Cloud Giant. This is the Storm. It's not. I got excited. I thought it was because I thought this was the male version the, the, to, the, to the female version. And, and it's not because this clearly says 32A. So there has to be a B that matches it. However... This is looking pretty sick. Little bendage on a sword. I will definitely fix that. I love the purple skin. Looks like straight. This guy looks like Zeus. I mean, the Storm Giant 30 of 44. That is awesome. So, so cool. Oh, sweet. This one carries some price. The Shadow 20 of 44. This is the Shadow. You'll find that on the side of this box as well. Got a nice translucent piece to kind of hold it up. So it's got a little bit of height. That is awesome. In a second here, we're going to start the miniature cam up front. So Bear can get down on everything. Looks like we've got another version of a goblin. This is the Goblin Guard, 5 of 44, and this, again, looks super sweet. They have literally nailed it on this set. I mean, the quality is unbelievable. The sculpting is awesome. These look so... Oh, is this the... This is the Halfling Druid. Now, I'd love to get the Halfling Wizard, but this is the Halfling Druid. This is another one I really wanted... It is a female halfling druid. She does have some magic spell effect that she's doing. This is awesome. 33 of 44, and it looks super cool. The face looks good and tight. Eyes look great. Lipstick, lips look good. Quite a few different colors. I love the whites and the reds there on the cloak, and that's a really cool staff and magic effect. Put her right up there. She's awesome. Okay. We're going to get into this last box. As soon as I open this, Bear is going to start the miniature cam in 3, 2, 1. Bear, hit us with the miniature cam. And what do we got is not too shabby. This is a cool one, too. This is the, I can't pronounce it, um, 
Algothu, Algothu, I don't know. 29 out of 44, and it's some form of a crazy looking fish, kind of like a giant um, catfish with some like tentacles coming off on it. I, and it's pretty awesome. And for any kind of water battle, that's a pretty sweet model. That's very unique. I don't have anything like that. So I'll take it. We're down to the last box. Bear Sitness with the miniature cam. You can start taking a look at those up close. This is a Cobalt Soldier. Now, I do want a Cobalt, but I want the Cobalt Scale Caster. This is a Cobalt Soldier. Um, it's a pretty cool little Cobalt. Put it, well, you know what? We're going to put him right down here. Put him right down here. And let's get to the next one here. This is uh, Gnome Rogue. Okay, so literally, team, our first dupe. The Gnome Rogue. This is the first dupe. We already saw one of those. Put it right up here. But that is our first dupe in this entire box. This one, not a dupe. And it's one that I wanted. This is the Dwarf Rogue. Seems to be a lot of these that I wanted. But another one that I wanted, the Dwarf Rogue. I love the look of this Dwarf Rogue with that blonde hair and that yellow outfit. And just kind of that dagger that's out with like a smaller dagger down there at the waist belt. This looks really cool. Loving that Dwarf Rogue. Any of the dwarves, halflings goblins i love these smaller characters okay here we go last box this is the moment of truth team it's the moment of truth of is this is this box going to contain the chimera is this box going to contain the blue dragon or is this box going to give us the pair to the cloud giant or is this box going to be Total disappointment <clears throat> and be a dupe. You don't know. Nobody knows. Bear doesn't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. But we will know here momentarily. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Last box. And it gives us the Chimera. It's not the Blue Dragon. But it gives us the other one, which is... So, so sweet. There it is. 29 of 44. I will take it. Look how sick that is. Red. It's almost like a red dragon, but it's got all the different heads. This thing is sick. What a model. I really wanted that blue dragon, but you know, you don't always get what... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. One, two, three. Oh, no. Oh, no. There it is. Oh, okay, I got it. I got the last one. The last one went flying in all the excitement. Uh, and uh, it is, I believe it's a dupe for, it is an orc battler. I think I already have one. Yes. So this is a dupe. It's an orc battler, which again, any of these orcs, you're perfectly fine to have dupes on. Any type of enemy like that, because you're generally fighting two or more of them. Usually you're not just going to fight one orc battler. You're going to fight two or three or four orc battlers. So that's good. Out of that entire set, let's make sure these last two are not dupes, and they're not. Out of that entire set, we only got two models that were dupes. This is the Dwarf Champion, another phenomenal sculpt. And I do have an older D&D &D sculpt that's a Dwarf Champion like this, and this guy looks pretty awesome as well. So he may be a replacement for that. He's a little smaller, I believe, than my other sculpt, which is probably a little bit more accurate. So this, this looks pretty good. Let's get this last... Um, smaller one out here, and this is, I believe, another Hobgoblin. It is the Hobgoblin Sharpshooter, 13 of 44 for the Hobgoblin sharp Sharpshooter, and he looks great as well. Okay, team, there it is. There's the set that we got. Pulling on that final box, one of the coolest sculpts in this set. We didn't get the Blue Dragon, but I cannot complain. I mean, we got this one, and we got the Dragon Turtle. I mean... Even if I would have got the blue dragon, I would have wanted this dragon turtle so bad, especially seeing how bulky and beefy this model is. I would have wanted this. This would have been the model for me. Anything that's turtle related, I, I really like. So, this, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a turtle and it's a dragon. I mean, you, you really can't go wrong with that, okay? That's it, team. We only have one of those bricks. I would say I'd love to do another one of the bricks of these because the sculpts are so phenomenal. And I want that blue dragon. Might have to... Yeah, I want that blue dragon. 
Okay, so hit that like, hit the subscribe below to join the team. Keep rolling, then, Prince. This has been the McGuire Review, and I'll see you next time, Bear. Let's roll!